What's up? I'm Triple Sheet. Welcome back to a super specific guide. If you're searching for it, then congratulations, you've found it. In this video, I'll show you how to listen to music and more music and even more music all at once. This sounds like a simple task, but it's it's not actually. On Windows, you can output sound to one device pretty easily and you can connect other devices, but it's not necessarily going to play anything unless you somehow tell Windows to do it and there's no simple way. You can tell applications like Discord to move from one sound device to another one, but you can't get it sent to multiple at once super easily. But actually you can with a little bit of nerdy configuration that I'll show you exactly how to do here. We're going to be using a tool that you've probably heard of before called voice meter there's different versions of this we've got virtual audio cable we've got voice meter which is like a digital mixer and this allows us to have two hardware outputs which will be your first headset and your second headset or speakers and headphones but if we choose voice meter banana which is the slightly more upgraded version we get access to a third hardware output and all the way to potato we get a fourth and a fifth audio output which is huge this is the one that I'll be using as it's the most easy to configure when it comes to many outputs. So let's give it a shot. In order to get this thing working, you'll need to download the program. So download over here and just run the installer as is. And when it's done, you can close and delete the zip. Once it's installed, you'll need to reboot your PC. Otherwise, the audio outputs aren't going to work properly. Then you can hit start and you should see a bunch of stuff when you restart your PC. We've got voice meter. We've got voice meter potato, banana. We really want to use potato in particular as that's got all of the settings that we need. As you can see, it's rather big and well, it's got everything. Okay, so first of all, this is super confusing to look at. This entire left side over here are inputs. So your microphone and stuff like that. You can control the volume of each of them here. And well, that's that. In this middle section here, you'll have your virtual inputs, which will be your voice meter input. So your new speakers that you'll be selecting an aux and a Vio3, which are just three different outputs you can select to send sound to your different output devices up here. So to break this down, if you right click your sound icon on your system and open your sound settings, you'll see a bunch of new stuff here. We've got Vio3, we've got voice meter input, and we've got voice meter aux input. These are your three new output devices. So tell your system to set voice meter input as the default by selecting it here. Or if you see this older window on Windows 10 on the playback tab, simply look for the voice meter aux input or the voice meter input here or the Vio3 input, right click the voice meter input and select set as default and set as default communication. Bam, there you go. Now, whenever we play sound, it'll come through here and into our big old meter over here. So just to give you a clue, if I start playing music with Spotify, for example, you'll see that we have some movement over here telling us what songs playing from what program, and it'll tell us our three different outputs here. If you choose to send something to each different channel, for example, you can send your music to one channel, your game sound to another discord to another, and you can break things up. If you're a live streamer, for example, record them separately and edit them later. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for this. If you don't already hear it, then check up in the top right, buy our hardware out and for audio one simply click it and then you'll get presented with a bunch of different audio devices the wdm tab the first one here is what we're going to be focusing on the rest of these you can ignore for now select your headphones or your speakers and if it's already got an arrow next to it then it's already selected that's it now when you play sound you should hear it coming through your audio one for example if not make sure that a1 is ticked which is your audio output one now if we do this you'll see movement down here and of course well the sound again we've now got audio through one output device you may have guessed how we're going to be setting up our other two. First of all, we'll start by powering them on and connecting them. So uh, turning this one on, I'll open up my Bluetooth settings and yeah, we're connected to it. So now from audio two, I'll tell it to use my headphones over here. And just like that, we now have two outputs selected. We'll now send our music from the voice meter input channel here to audio one, which is my one headset and audio two, which is the second one. I'll turn it down here just so you don't hear too much. So we've got audio one and audio two. And now, believe it or not, there's sound through our one pair of headphones and through the other one as well. If you're using Bluetooth, you'll probably notice that wired is a lot less delayed than Bluetooth, but if you're using Bluetooth for all of them, it should be about the same ping, so it's not too much to worry about. Now you've got two headphones running whatever you decide to send into it, and as it's the default, you can fire up a game and two people can hear the sound at once, Discord, etc. To add a third pair, well, you guessed it, 
Start by turning it on and connecting it, whether through Bluetooth, cable or otherwise. And once you select your device in the Bluetooth settings, for example, I can connect to it. And through most Bluetooth adapters and built-in adapters, you can connect to multiple devices at once. We've now got two headphones connected at one time. So we'll choose Audio 3. We'll enable our new headset over here and we'll tick Audio 3. Bam, now we have sound through one headset, two headsets. And of course, the wired one here as well. So this could be speakers, headphones, and maybe a monitoring booth or something like that. It's super powerful. Oh, and also if things get a bit confused and you're getting Spotify issues and stuff, just check to see if your audio devices haven't defaulted back to your headphones, set it back to your voice meter input or whatever you chose earlier. Now Spotify and things should be happy. So now playing a song that you can actually hear on YouTube without a strike, we've got sound coming through one headset and two headsets and a third headset. So yeah, obviously there's a bit of delay between Bluetooth and not Bluetooth, kind of distracting, but you get the point. And there you go. You now know a super nerdy fact about how to play audio through multiple output devices at once. Yeah, it's a bit distracting to have to use such a big tool, but oh, you could obviously use the smaller ones and just get two outputs or three outputs. Here you've got five and it's super simple. And also there's obviously different ways around it. If you're using specific audio software, you can choose multiple devices with different ASIO drivers and stuff like that. But here it's just, it's simple and it works with Discord, Spotify, YouTube, etc. You can get it going through multiple headphones at once so you and your friends can listen or whatever the situation calls for. And obviously, as a bonus, you get a super quick equalizer that you can use for treble, bass, and mid-tones. You get positional audio, fine-tuned volume for everything. If you choose different stereo inputs here, for example, you can add different effects, reverb, and stuff like that. And on the way out, you can apply extra extra EQ and even record things on the way out. There's a huge amount of stuff that you can do here. It's super nerdy. If you came here for just this little section over here and these little options, then yeah, you have came here for what I came here for. And of course, there's just so much more to this free software. That's really it for this super quick guide. Hopefully you found it useful, if not interesting. It's a super niche thing. So let me know if you found this enjoyable or if it helped you. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot. I'll see you all next time. Ciao.